Venere. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, compañero. Hi guys, good evening. Hi Ricardo, good evening, great to see you. Uh, Mauricio, hello, how are you doing? Hi Arnoldo, good evening. Gabby, hello. How are you guys? How are you doing today? Is everything okay? Everything good? That's a problem today. You had a problem today? What's a product today? Oh, was a <laughs> sorry. I heard you said like it was there was a problem. I was like, why? <laughs> it's Monday, but you know. <laughs> okay, so I'm glad to hear that it was a very productive day. What about the rest of you guys? Uh, Ricardo, everything good? Did you have a nice weekend? Nice Saturday? Nice Sunday? Uh, Arnoldo, are you working? Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Gabby, uh, are you home already? Are you on your way home? How was your weekend, guys? Did you have a good one? Good Saturday? Good Monday? Or are you like, um, not, not much? Not really? Yes. Yes. Okay. Great to hear that. It's really, really nice. Hi, Helen. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining, guys. Hello. All right, guys. I'm like super uh, happy to get started with today's session. 
um, we are starting a new week, you know, a new month, let's say. Guys, espero que las lluvias no les hayan afectado too. I really hope, you know, um, so your houses have not been affected because está lloviendo muy fuerte. So just be careful, please. And uh, well, uh, part of the things that we have today is first, uh, are vamos not, a... Are not weather. Eh, sorry, Ricardo. Uh, no, ahorita no está lloviendo. It's not raining. No, okay, raining. It's not raining. raining. All right. So here in my house, I estado lloviendo casi todo el día. Well, the whole afternoon, you know, so afternoon night. Uh, but either way, you know. Um, so guys, eh, today vamos a, a iniciar con la sesión número 14. We're going to get ahead with session number 14. Remember that for intermediate, uh, intermediate, son 25 sesiones, right? Um, and guys, el tiempo se nos va a ir super rápido, you know. So ya casi vamos en las últimas. So we are definitely moving forward too. Uh, additionally, guys, solamente pedirles, eh, me envíen la tarea, so send the homework out, right? Um, so we can, uh, I can listen to you, I can listen to your um, description, right? Eh, recordemos que la tarea es escoger un producto, so you gotta pick up a product, contarnos sobre las características of this product, right? En un minuto, we said, so one minute talk max, y utilizando también, uh, using a couple of connectors, like, in addition, furthermore, uh, etc. Right? So uh, that's going to be like the, the homework for today and night. Um, so let's get started, guys. I have a couple of activities so we can start working on today. And my first activity is a little bit of a riddle, you know? So I don't know if you are familiar with riddles. Um, riddles in Spanish are what we call adivinanza. So we have different questions um, and you have to help us, right? Uh, with the answer. So obviously the answer has to be in English too. So I have a four, I have four different riddles. Let's see if you can guess or if you can hit the answer for each of them. Um, like in Spanish, we have yeah. a lot of adivinanzas, right? So here are the ones that we have in English. Guys, uh, if you know any of them, so you can help us. Number one says, how many letters are in the alphabet? Guys, uh, who can give me the answer for the first riddle? How many letters are there in the alphabet? It's 26. Uh, no. I mean, yes, but no. <laughs> this is a tricky, this is a tricky it's a, it's a probably. This is a very tricky question, a very tricky riddle, but no. You, I mean, I, I know what you mean, but no. Uh -huh. Guys, how many letters are in the alphabet? 11. Yes, Gabby, you knew the answer. <laughs> Very nice. The 11. Why, Gabby? Oh, because it says in, uh, for me, it's uh, two puntos uh, in the alphabet. Yes, exactly. So you start counting T H E. A L P H A P E T. Yes, very good. So there are 11. Exactly. Okay. Uh, second one, guys. They are kind of tricky. So they are not very, very easy, I would say. So, two, it says a woman and nine friends are under one umbrella, but nobody gets wet. Wet is like uh, that there is water, right? On all your body. So, a woman and nine friends are under one umbrella, but nobody gets wet. Why? Because it doesn't rain. Very nice, exactly, because it's not raining. Hi, Enrique, good evening. Angelica, hello, great to have you guys. Yes, you got it. They are quite tricky, I would say. Exactly, it is not raining, therefore nobody gets wet, okay. Next one, guys. They are very easy, too easy, probably. Next one. How many months have 28 days? All the months. Six. 
six or six all? Months. What do you think? Don't go all. Six, six months, months or all the month of the year? Or only six months of the year? Six months. Six months. What about the rest? Arnoldo said all of them. What about the rest, guys? Six or all of them? All of them. Okay. What about the rest? How many months have 28 days? All, all of them. I love them. Okay, girls. All of them. I love them, okay. And the answer is, uh, yes, I love them. Because it doesn't just say have only 28 days. So January, February, March, all of them have 28 and more. <laughs> so yeah, the answer is all of them, <laughs> okay. And guys, the last one is, I would say, um, a little bit more difficult, you know? So I would say it's definitely, definitely more difficult. So this one says, what is the next number? And we have 25, 24, 22, 19, 15. What is the next number, guys? 16. Mm, that's not 16. Five. Uh -huh. People who are good in math, Ten. math exercises. What is it? Ten. Ten. Who, who said ten? Hi, Ruben. Good evening. Hi, teacher. I don't know if that was a. I don't know, that was a 10, okay. So, okay, somebody said 10. I heard Angelica saying 10 too. Guys, what is the next number? And tell me why. So 25, 24, 22, 19, 15, and, and 10. 10. 10. 22. Why? 22. 22. Because the sequence is 22. one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five, and continue as, as like that. Oh, very nice, exactly. Because this is a subtraction, right? So you have uh, 25 minus one, so 24, minus two, 22, minus three, 19, uh, minus four, uh, 15. So next one has to be minus five. Very good, guys. Guys, you're really good at this. Okay, very nice. I'm going to bring more complicated uh, riddles next time, or I'm going to ask you for your own riddles. So they are called riddles, right? Like um, just general questions uh, for us to guess. Okay, guys, I think I heard Belen too. So good evening, Belen, great to hear you. Uh, I <laughs> have Imelda, so good evening, Imelda. Thank you for joining as well. Um, and I have Ruben. Ruben, I'm happy to hear you today. So I'm going to be asking you a lot of questions today. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, so today we're going to be working a little bit with questions. But before uh, getting familiar with questions, I want to go over vocabulary. And I have here some vocabulary uh, words that we previously discussed, but we didn't take the time to practice much. So when we, uh, when, whenever we're talking about vocabulary, we use some expressions that are in the material and also in the, in the platform. So you may have already seen random, competitive, target, focus, survey, and questionnaire. So um, can you give us like a, a brief, can you give us a brief description of the meaning of the words, not in Spanish, but in English. Can you describe the words or can you give us like, like, yeah, well, survey and questionnaire, you know that they are exactly the same. So they are synonyms, but what about the rest? So survey and questionnaire, they are exactly the same. Now guys, can you give us a brief, brief, brief definition of the, of the rest of the words. 
teacher, for example, in in the case of random, I don't know. I think oh. that it's something very like um, ex extreme uh, okay. or weird, a combination of something that it's very weird okay. or strange or okay. extreme. I don't know. Okay, so it's like mm -hmm. if you take a decision very quickly, it's a it's a random decision. For example, it's mm -hmm. I don't know. okay. That's a, a good okay. That's a very nice opinion, guys. What do you think? What's random or where can we use the word random? I think we use it with music, with movies, in YouTube. So what's random? Anybody else? Angelica, uh, what would you say is the definition for random? Random maybe is like uh, you pick up you pick up uh, items or something, but a different. Uh, uh, they don't have to be related. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and you have to choose one of them and put it in a in a group. Oh, okay, okay. All right, thank you so much. Anybody else who can give us the, the definition for random? Any other I, I idea that comes to your mind? Yeah. I don't have a definition, but I have an example. Oh, perfect. Tell us. Uh, for example, could be that when you do a search, mm -hmm. could be the thing that you found that you don't expect found it. Oh, very nice. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so random pretty much is like um, exactly what you said, guys. So you don't know what you want. You don't know what you're looking for, but you found it. Exactly. So, oh, okay. I'm sorry, miss. I'm sorry, Melda. I hope you get better. Okay, thank you so much for being here. All right, so random we have guys, um, like for example, when you go to YouTube and you have no idea what kind of music you want and you just play a song and you have like a lot of random music coming. That is random, something that you don't expect, something that is just picked, you know, with no specific order. So in, in what other context do you take random decisions or random objects? Right. Yes, teacher. I have. Uh, I, I want the meaning of two words, and the first one is like uh, al azar. Yes. And the second one it's like aleatorio. Maybe I don't know. It could be related with random. It is actually. It is. But it is. It's, what is the meaning? It, it, it means uh, how can I say in English that word? Sorry. Um, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. How can I Take say in English uh, al azar and aleatorio? Uh, actually, it's random. It's random. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. So the word for both is random. That's why um, you can take, for example, aleatorio would be like shuffle. You know, I don't know if you are familiar with that word. That is called That's shuffle, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> like, uh -huh, like music, shuffle. right? Uh -huh. In your cell phone, when you have a playlist and you uh, activate the option that says shuffle, so that comes random, in random order, no specific I order. Check, I check this word in the cars games. Oh, uh, what, what does shuffle mean in cars? Like in video games? Cars. Okay. Well, the oh, oh, yes, because you oh, wow. shuffle them. Exactly, because you shuffle them. Uh, so random is like you pick any, right? Pretty much that is the one. So yes, Belen, aleatorio o al azar, eh, that would be the same, the same word that would be random in English. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Exactly. Um, you can use it for decisions, but random decision, I think it wouldn't make sense much because a decision you think about it so random is something that is just like oh i'm going to i don't know get a blouse whatever you know so that or whatever is when, when you you only can pick yes or no 
Mm, maybe no, because no. random would be any, uh -huh, like any, uh -huh, whatever. Okay. Uh -huh, like when you go to the supermarket and you want to buy avocados and you're like, <laughs> ah, whatever, you know, I, I'm going to pick any avocado. So pick them at random. So whatever comes. Uh -huh, so that is pretty much the idea of random. Um, guys, comp uh, well, I think that, hi, Carlos, maybe, good evening. Maybe two. Thank when you. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining. Good evening. It's so Carlos. nice to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time, you know, and being with us. Um, I think I have Judy as well. So Judy, thank you for joining. Great to see you. And Ricardo, I think you have an example for random. Uh, random, Ohio, Chicago, or March. Uh, random. Parameters. No worries. Take your time. I boy boy param. Random. Random. Oh, by Chicago. I march on why. Mechanic. Random. Random, random. I mean, I think you refer to mechanical games, like when you go to consumer, you know, but I'm not sure about random. Uh, random and Chicago. And Chicago. Uh -huh. I think the idea is not complete, but I think you refer to like these uh, theme parks. Like Consuma, you know, uh, yes. Don Rua and all of them. So they are called theme parks. Because okay. I think you heard, I heard something related to that. Okay. They're but, their park. Yeah, they are theme parks. Mm -hmm. Como, mm -hmm. um, uh, park. How, how do you call them? Parque Temático. Parque te yeah, but, but in El Salvador, we call them in a different name. Como Las Ruedas, right? <laughs> yeah, that would be Las Ruedas. So, ah. Yeah, but it's a theme park. Okay, that's the way. All right, then we have competitive. I think you know what it is, so I'm not going to state that much. Target, we checked this before, guys. What was target? What do you remember? Mm -hmm. Competitive. It's, a, it's an objective. Plus. Exactly, so target is an objective, a goal, right? So uh, your target is what you want to hit, what you want to get, right? So your goal, your objective. So, or if we're talking about business, so your target is the number of people, right? Uh, that you're expecting to approach or to, um, what? To get to probably. So that would be a uh, target. Uh, focus, what about focus guys? <clears throat> Sorry. Can you give us an example with focus? Competitive and the problem. You got to be in focus. You got to be focused. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Very nice example. Exactly. So focus could be like the one for concentrated, right? So we got to concentrate, we got to focus, okay. Uh, I think in El Salvador, one company is called Focus. I think it's a call center. So pretty much that's the idea, right? What is another way that we can use focus? I have a funny way. Okay, go ahead. For focus. For focus. Mm, what do you mean? <laughs> What's it's that? It's a car. It's, it's a, a brand. It's American it's a brand car, Ford. Ford Focus. Ford. <laughs> is that a car? Yeah, Ford Focus. Yes. Oh, car. is the car good? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, guys. I have a bias opinion <laughs> about Ford. So bias, you know. So bias means like... Um, Prejudiciada, like I got some prejudices about about Ford, about the brand. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I saw some of you saying like, uh, okay. So bias, uh, that word. 
that bias means like prejuicio, right? When you have a very strong idea about a brand, about a topic, so I have some um I have a bias opinion. <laughs> okay, it's a good brand. I have never had a Ford, so I don't know. <laughs> probably in the future. And the last one, guys, survey and questionnaire. Guys, uh, repeat with me, please. Just one more time. Random. 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 There we go. Competitive. Competitive. Target. 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 Focus. 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 Survey. 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 Questionnaire. Okay. Questionnaire. 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 Okay, very nice. So Question. remember that the survey and the questionnaire, they are exactly the same. All right, guys, we're going to move on a little bit because today we're going to be practicing asking questions. And uh, this topic uh, can be a little hard for some people, but I hope uh, it's going to be a piece of cake for you. So give me a moment and let me share this with you. Okay, take a look at these ones. I have here very, very easy equations. Um, so we are going to be using who for all the equations that we have right here. And I just need your help completing the rest of the equation. For example, number one says you were talking to someone who... Which is talking to someone. Uh -huh. So how, what would be the equation who... Son of white tangy you wow. Tell me, tell me, pan me what. Sorry, I turn off my. They want oh I saw some. Give me one wow. second, guys. Hold on. Son. Sorry, I disappeared. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, give me just a moment. Let me fix my camera. Okay, so hopefully it will do the trick. All right, so uh, we are going to ask questions, right? Using these, these are the easiest questions that we can find ever, ever, ever. So help me out, guys, with the correct way uh, to ask these questions. So we have, for example, right here, uh, you were talking to someone, but I need to complete this question. Can you help me? Who? Oh. Who were you talking to? Yeah, very good. Okay, so who were you talking to? Exactly. So um, there we go. So today, guys, uh, who were you talking to? Iris, hi, Iris, good evening. Uh, -da. Good evening. Uh, Iris, who were you talking to today? Who were you talking to? I just made a visto, guys. <laughs> okay, so the question is like, if you pay attention here, pretty much I want to what know tiny the name, you? right? I need what to you? know the name of the person or I don't know, my mom, my sister, my boss. So who were you talking to? Very easy, very straightforward. So um, Maurice, let me go with you. Maurice, who were you talking to today? And to many people, for example, uh, with the people, there's this my coworker that call it Claudia. Ah, okay, okay, nice, good to hear. There we go. Guys, help me with the second, please. It says someone was talking to you, who, How can I make the second question? Someone was talking to you. Was tangy to you. Mm -hmm. But was I need to make a question. Over. But I need to what? make a question using who. So who? Who? Was tangy to go at the who? You. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, I'm going to I'm going to make this part really easy right here. And let me explain a very easy way to make questions. So when you don't know this subject, 
right? Um, I'm going to just change someone and I'm going to Thanks. use who. So who was talking to you? That's it, very easy, super, super easy. If I have here someone telephone me, so who telephone you? That's it, very easy, right? Uh, we will check the others because they are more complicated. Uh, if I have number five, for example, someone sold you the car. What is the equation in number five? Who sold you the car? Who sold you the car? Exactly, very easy. Number six. Gave you this money. Someone gave you this money. Who gave you this money? Who gave you this money? There we go. Uh, another question that we can make following the same. Who told you about a contact? Uh, we will check that. We will check that because the questions are different. <laughs> the questions are different. But we have. But we have. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Who complained to the manager? Who complained to the manager? Exactly. Number 11. Who wrote a letter? A letter or a school? Who wrote a letter? Mm -hmm. Who wrote a letter to the school? And the last one, guys, I'm going to eliminate someone and I'm Open going to ask side window. Mm -hmm. who opened Open the window. window. So my question is very easy because I want to know who did it. Hey guys, who complained to the man who complained to the manager? Uh, or who wrote a letter to your children's school? Or who gave you money? Okay. So I want to know who did it. These are the easiest questions we have. Now the problem is with the rest of the questions because take a look at this. We have someone here. We have someone in this spot. We have some people here. We have someone here. And da, 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 da. I'm going to leave number one as it is. Um, mm -mm. Okay, so take a look at the take a look at the position of the someone because that is going to be a little bit tricky. So, guys, number three, they wanted to see someone. No tendría sentido si yo pregunto who wanted to see someone. No, right? So, quiero preguntar a quién querían ver ellos. So, what would be the question? Who one day to see? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now, guys, remember that for questions, we are going to use auxiliaries. We can use do, we can use us. No los usamos antes, we didn't use them before porque no los necesitábamos. Because era el sujeto. Pero ahora sí, I need auxiliaries to make questions. So, guys, number four, they wanted to see someone who this is past what am i going to use do they, does or did did they want it to see does ah, okay does or did right because i have this in past who so who did they want to see they want to see oh look at this so super different, right? Now the question cambió completamente. But in uh, normally we have these two kinds of question. And, uh, and I need to use the auxiliary right here. Guys, do me a big favor, please. Can you try to complete number uh, seven, eight, and nine? Only seven, eight, and nine. And remember, for la posición en la que están, I need to use do, does, did, si fuera futuro, probably will be going to, etc. I'm going to give you some minutes. Oh, here you have uh, the auxiliary has, and here you have bird to be. So enjoy it, guys. I'll give you five minutes.
One more minute, guys. Oh. Margarita, it is me. Ya le estaba escribiendo, Miss. <laughs> no worries, it was me. Hi, good evening. No, no la había visto conectada. That's why I was texting you. <laughs> but it's all right. Hi, Delmi, good evening. Yes. Yeah, lo que pasa es que, que ajá, creo que no me tiene guardadas. But it was me. <laughs> Era yo, Miss. No worries. Ah, ok. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. Solo era el recordatorio. I was like, where is Margarita? <laughs> That's okay. Okay, guys. So if you have just joined us, we are working with questions number seven number eight and number nine, because they are a little bit more complicated here. Um, so if we normally want to know who did an activity, we just ask who, right? Uh, who was talking to you? Uh, who telephoned you? Who called you? Who sold you the car? Who gave you this money? But se vuelve un poco más complicado in the sense that quiero preguntar a quien usted Le hablo, por ejemplo, aquí le llamo usted. So the question is going to be like pretty different here. But for example, number four, they wanted to see someone. No voy a preguntar who uh, wanted to see someone. No. My question is who did they want to see? Right? Because I want to ask a quien le querían, a quien querían ver. Okay? Now, what about number seven, guys? Number seven is going to be the same idea. So you told someone about the contract. So who, quiero saber a quién le contó el contrato. No quién le contó a usted el contrato, sino usted a quién le contó el contrato. So different questions, all right, and a little bit tricky here. Uh, guys, number seven, uh, do you need more time or are you ready? Ready, teacher. Oh, okay, okay, perfect. So what do you have in number seven? You told someone about the contract, who? Do. Mm, okay, do. Guys, do you agree? Do you have a different answer? Agree. Did, did. did they tell oh. about the contract? Okay, so who did? Yeah, because I have told, so that is okay. Who did? Told about the contract. Okay, remember that I need the, the subject. So who did you um, tell or toy? What am I going to use? Tell. tell. Tell, exactly. Who did you tell about the contract? Exactly, there we go. There we go, Teacher, very good. I, I'm a little confused, sorry. The, the who is not in the sentence. Mm -hmm. And so when is. you put it, the some, no, 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 I mean, the, the 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 word who oh okay uh, the who it's, it's it's a question for using to tell us uh, who is using the do or does or did but it's it, the the word who uh, lo, o sea la palabra who no está en la oración estoy con, estaba confundida o sea mm. el who solo se está refiriendo porque eh, quién lo está diciendo Pero no es que está agregado en la oración. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, no, uh -huh. it is not part of the sentence here. But okay. imagine, but imagine just for a split second that I don't have this information. This is just for us to have like a very brief idea. Because okay. when we are speaking, um, a veces me pierdo información. Sometimes I just lose some information. Imagine okay. that I say, hey, you told about the contract. Pero no escuché esa información. I didn't listen to this piece of information. So what do I do? Oh, I normally come and ask. I'm sorry. ¿A quién le contaste el contrato? So who did you tell about the country? So yes, the who no está en la oración. But the thing is that el pedazo de información que me perdí corresponde a una persona. 
That's why I'm using yeah. who right here. Mm -hmm. okay, ya vamos okay. a ver más ejemplos because no solamente usamos who, we can use what, where, when, etc. But yeah, okay. this is pretty much just for us to have a closer idea. Mm -hmm. That's okay, no problem. All right, guys, uh, number eight, who, oh, another question? Do you have any other question? Are we all right? Ask guys, if you have questions, please ask. Uh, what do you have yes. in number eight? Who did they invite to the party? Okay, so who did they invite to the party? Guys, do you have the same? No. No. Now, what do you have? Does they have invite some people to the party? Okay, so we want to know, siempre queremos saber a quién, right? We want to know who was invited to the party. So they have invited some people to the party. Who did they invite to the party? Actually, tiene sentido, it makes sense, but hay otra forma también. Okay. Uh, what do you have? Uh, change did. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Have, uh, oh. Invite Oh, okay, there we go. Yes, exactly. So imagine that I say, oh, they have invited to the party. Pero no escucha quién. And I'm like, I'm sorry, who have they invited to the party? So yeah, this would be like the most appropriate way uh, because remember that present perfect, todavía no pasado, right? This is not something that is completed or finished. So mm -hmm, this is the most appropriate one. Who have they invited to the party? Uh, I think you cannot see the one. Oh, there you go. Okay. Guys, are we okay with this? Are we okay with number eight? No, teacher, I'm lost. So I'm lost. <laughs> uh, okay, no worries. So you if, say I don't refuse. Okay, if you take a look here, if you take a look, um, you had, who did they invite to the party? Which is amazing, it's okay. But let's bring this part over here. Let's bring the whole thing. So they have invited some people to the party. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, imagine that I didn't listen to this part. I didn't listen to some people. And this is why I am asking who, right? So this exactly same who. So I'm going to include the who right here. But in questions, guys, ¿qué pasa con las preguntas? Do you remember what happens to questions? So, who they have invited? This is not possible. Like, uh, cuando preguntábamos, ¿alguna vez has hecho esto? Have you ever? ¿Cuál era el orden? Have. This goes first. So, have you ever done? Have you ever gone? Have you ever invited? Have you ever studied? So who have they invited? Solo cambiamos el orden. We just change the order of these two elements. Normally, in the sentence, they have invited. This is the order de la oración. But in questions, I'm going to change order and I'm going to put it at the beginning. Y eso es todo. Who have they invited to the party? A quien han invitado ellos? Who have they invited to the party? Does it make sense to you? Okay, let me un let me understand. Um, okay. The sentences, for example, the first one, you were talking to someone. For example, you told me, and I don't listen who you was talking to. Something like that. O sea, perdón, lo voy a decir en español. Eh, es que lo que yo pensaba que la oración era la que íbamos a convertir a la pregunta. Yeah. Pero según me explica, yeah. es... No, 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 literally. I mean, yes, pero le vamos a quitar todos los someones. Because imagine that these someones are the ones that I don't know. Eh, someone Exacto. Is, ajá, 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 very me dijo general. que estaba hablando con alguien, pero, pero yo no escuché eh... eso, entonces yo le voy a preguntar con quién estaba hablando. Ajá, exactly. No, exactly. pero ahí dice al revés, teacher. Uh, where? Porque dice, ¿quién me está telefoneando? Mm, mm, no. Um, number three, someone telephoned me. Lo que quiero saber es, ¿quién le llamó? So that's why, who telephoned you? 
So me voy a decir exactamente el nombre de la persona that I need. Uh -huh. This is why. Estas son super fáciles. These are the easiest kind of questions. Como cuando preguntamos, ¿quién hizo la tarea? Who did the homework? All right. ¿Quién no vino? Who didn't come? ¿Quién falta? Who is missing? So it's super easy. But el detalle es cuando hacemos este tipo de preguntas. So let's go with one more, guys. Y luego les tengo un par para que ustedes practiquen. I have a couple more, so you can practice this a little bit more. Eh, give me one second. Hold on. Oh, where are you? Okay, there we go. So let me just erase the whole thing. And let me go with number eh, nine. They were arguing with someone. This is easy, I would say, guys. What do you have in this one? They were arguing with someone. So who? They are win with. Who they? Can you repeat, please? Who did they are win with? Okay. Who did they are with? All right. I like that you included the with. So that is amazing. That is part of the question. Uh, but tengo solo un contraste here. Tengo ING y tengo DID. Mm. Y algo está raro aquí. <laughs> Guys, help me. <laughs> solo vamos a hacer un eh, pequeño cambio. Falta el where. Oh, very good. Exactly. Exactly. So remember that DID and ING no lo combinamos. We never put them together. So I'm going to use el mismo auxiliary. El where es un auxiliar, no es un verbo here. So who were they arguing with? Now it makes sense. So remember that we use the auxiliaries. Do, does, and did son los más comunes, but podemos usar have, be going to, will, verb to be, etc. So I have a couple of questions, guys, uh, that we are going to be working with. Give me just a moment. And... Uh, um, is this complicated? Is this confusing, guys? Teacher, when do you use? I remember that he does when using with the third person, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. That's right. Ah, okay. No, yes, that, that's right. Um, are these questions a little complicated? <laughs> For me, yes. <laughs> totally. Oh. Okay. But I don't know the others. Guys, is this quite complicated for you too? Okay, let's make questions, guys. Let's make some questions. All right. So um, in English, we have two, type of, two types of questions. So question number one. So we call them what or who, right? And this refers to the activity. So I'm just going to use a verb and the complement and that's it complement okay so uh when am i going to use this number one cuando no sé qué pasó o no sé quién hizo algo that's it very easy for example guys no sé quién trabajo ahora so what or who what can i use who okay. who. who and then i need the verb Si la pregunta es pasado, verbo en pasado, si es en futuro, questioning, uh, the verb is going to be in future, etc. So, quiero saber quién trabajó. Who? Who so, did work working. today? Working mm, today. Okay. Easy. No hay auxiliar. Solo el verbo. Only the verb. So, who? Who did work? Working work today. Uh -huh. Le quitamos el did. No lo necesito. And this is it. All right. Guys, who worked today? That's it, super easy. All right, now, negative. Quiero saber quién no trabajó. Negative in past. Oh, no. oh, no. pasado, in past, no. in past. That's no. in present. No. Who didn't, who no. didn't, very nice. <laughs> oh, who didn't, uh -huh. who didn't. Just take a look here. Who didn't? I'm going to use the apostrophe. Okay, so who didn't uh, work? I cannot modify this. I cannot conjugate it. Who didn't work today? Y eso es todo, guys. Because number one, no sé quién lo hizo, no sé quién no lo hizo. So who worked today? Who didn't work today? That's it. Very easy. Uh, I want to ask, for example, guys, can um, this, you know, uh, pupusas? So what, what question comes to your mind? What question? Mm -hmm. Tell me with the questions. 
Yes, question. So, ¿quién desayuna pupusas? What is the question, guys, in English? Yes. Yes. ¿Cuál es que el verbo para yes. desayunar? Who eating pupusas? No hay. Oh. No hay para desayunar. Oh. So, eating... Okay. Pupusas. Okay, pupusas. super, super close. But, eh, ¿quién comió en pasado? ¿Quién desayuna oh. the best? Who? What? No, ¿Cómo vas a saber qué es en la mañana? No, no, no. Because my, that's what I want to ask. Quiero, uh, I mean... Es como que les pregunte quién se no pupusas. So I can be super yeah. specific here. Who? Who ate? Who ate? There we go. Who ate? So si se fijan, who or what, y luego el verbo. And that's it. So who ate pupusas for breakfast? Who ate pupusas for dinner? Who ate pupusas for lunch? Ajá, uh -huh. or in the morning, exactly. Who ate pupusas uh, in the morning? There we go. So only we are going to use who, and then we're going to use the verb in the corresponding tense. Now, quiero saber, por ejemplo, quién va a ir a Guatemala. Oh, eso es futuro. Okay, same thing. ¿Cuál sería en futuro? What are we going to use in future? Will. Oh, per okay, perfect. So who will? Going. Go, sin cambios. Uh -huh. So who will go to Guatemala uh, next month? Guatemala next month. Okay, and that's it. Very easy, guys. So esas son las preguntas más fáciles del mundo. Now, pero ¿y qué pasa con el what? Lo mismo, guys. Exactly the same thing. Quiero preguntar qué pasó, porque no lo sé. Oh, what happened? Yes, por eso es que preguntamos what happened. Hey, what happened? All right. Quiero, ca quiero saber qué, qué cayó. Hay un sonido, something fell. ¿Qué cayó? What fell down? And that's it. All right. So, ¿qué pasó en Estados Unidos? What happened in USA? So, if you take a look, son las preguntas más fáciles okay, del mundo. Ah, oh, yeah, that was horrible, guys. That was really bad. Cosa todo día. No, but it's really bad. Okay. Uh, I, I guess our country is dangerous, but but that's crazy. Okay. It's and it's like um. Yes, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, hello, Miss Belen. Yes, yes, teacher. I have a question. Um, using the uh, I don't know the name of what, who, which, where, so the the auxiliary question. I don't know what's the name, but. Eh, using that, eh, estas son como las formas en los, en los tiempos verbales para usarlos. Pero mi pregunta es, ¿eso se usa como en preguntas cortas, preguntas rápidas? ¿O hay una forma como de identificar, digamos, el tipo de preguntas que se hacen o solo es dependiendo de lo que preguntemos? Um, well, in English, solo hay dos tipos de preguntas. Estas y las que ustedes ya saben hacer utilizando what, where, when, etc. Pero uh -huh. estas, estas son las preguntas más fáciles, but estas son las preguntas cuando usted no sabe de quién estoy hablando o qué pasó. Pretty much, esa es la idea. That's why solo se usa what and who. No hay nada más. We don't use anything else. Um, so... Ese es saber, mi parámetro, digamos. Ya, yeah, I mean, ya vamos a practicar eso porque son, las otras son más difíciles, uh, no más difíciles, you know, sino más estructuradas, yeah. let's say. So, guys, do me a big favor. Can you make five questions uh, using this structure? Just like this. Pueden hacerlo en presente, en pasado, en futuro, in present perfect. There is no problem. Something that I want to call your attention, guys, to these questions is the following. Uh, if I'm going to use present, for example, alguien decía, ¿quién come pupusas en la mañana? Sí se puede, but este eight se va a convertir en presente. Pero, como yo no sé si es uno, dos, tres, eh, tiene que ser tercera persona. Who eats pupusas in the morning? Because I don't know the answer. Maybe Carlos, maybe Ricardo, uh, maybe only I have Delmi or I have Margarita. So I don't know the answer. So, siempre lo considero tercera persona eh, singular, you know? So, eats. Who eats pupusas in the morning? That's going to be the way. Um, if we want to use a present, uh, I don't know, Kim, for example, same thing. Who can eat? Oh, who can eat pupusas in the morning, right? Uh, if I want to use present perfect, oh, who has 
eaten, pupusas in the morning. Si se fijan, no le agrego nada más. Solo eh, voy agregándole el auxiliar or the verb in the corresponding tense. Okay, guys. So can we make three, five questions? I'm going to give you some minutes. Uh, just write them super quick, all right? And then we practice them. So if you want, you can include them in the chat and we can carefully, uh, you know, take the time to review them. Three questions, guys. Only using what or who? Only what or who? Three questions. Three, five. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you like three minutes. So if you can make more than three, that's okay. <laughs> only with, with what and who? Yes, because it's only these kind of questions. What or who? Okay. Uh, try not to include what is your name? What's your favorite color? <laughs> because you know how to make them. So try to use different words, right? I don't know. ¿Quién paga tus recibos? ¿Quién te paga? ¿Quién no va a trabajar? I don't know, guys. So make up some questions. Okay, thank you, Imelda. Oh, those are really good questions. They are really nice. Yeah, very nice. Oh, one more minute, guys.
Okay, guys. So help me. Oh, okay. What happened in your parents' house? Okay. I didn't get that. Okay, Gabby, those are really nice questions. <laughs> Enrique, that's a good one. Uh, a little bit uncommon, though. What's wrong with you? Who knows the name of the song? Who sang this song first? What kind of music? Um, what kind of music would be different? because eh, eh, I just necessito la estructura completa, uh, but the others are really good. So who ate my breakfast today? And uh, I think I got Iris. Uh, yes, Iris, very nice. What happened at the party? Who washes your clothes and who slept in your house? Very nice. Okay, guys, so can you help me with a couple of your questions? Who accompanied you to, okay. Teacher, I have. What did you buy with the money? Oh, what did you buy? But I don't write it. You who sold those umbrellas? Okay, go ahead. That's all right. Um, tell me that sounds like a very good question. Uh, solo la primera, I would say, no es ma, no es muy común que utilicemos la palabra accompany. So we can use instead who went with you, and that would be okay. So who went with you? And, and then the rest. But those are, th that's a very nice one. Um, Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Yes, Belen, what is your question? Uh, yes. Uh, who wants to buy chocolate? Okay, that's all right. Sounds good. And the wants, it's all right with the yes at the final. I'm not sure about that. Uh, can you say it again, please? Want with the S at the final. It is correct or it's incorrect. Who wants to buy I'm chocolate? Sure yeah. Yeah, once. that's right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's, that's the right. correct okay. way, yes. Yeah. Okay, the second one is, eh, okay, estaba como un poco confundida, no sé si está bien, pero la que primera que sí. pensé es, what does you makes me, makes you feel happy? Pero luego solo le cambié a what makes you feel happiness or happy. What makes you feel? Oh, that's a really good one. <laughs> what makes you feel happy? Mm -hmm. That's okay. Sounds good. Uh, what are you doing today? What's the meaning of this word? Yeah, that sounds good. And uh, what are you going to do next month? Who was next to you at the bus? Oh, very nice. Okay, they sound really good. Uh, Helen, that's a very good one. Carlos, that's good. Who ordered pizza? Mm -hmm. Who went to the store yesterday? Okay, very nice. Uh, Maurice, the second one, solo le cambiamos go for went. Who went to the store yesterday? What were you thinking to vote by Bukele? What were you thinking to vote? To vote by Bukele, by Bukele. You mean, como para votar por él? Yeah, right? Okay, solo le cambiamos by for for. So for Bukele. Uh -huh. What are you, what are you bringing me today? Mm -mm. Who turn on the AC? Okay, that's a really good one. And uh, solo la que dice como que me trajiste o que me has traído, ya la vamos a revisar. Cause esa ya no entra en esta categoría. That's from the other one. Okay, guys. Now, very good examples. I really like it. And I think that you didn't find big examples. What kind of music do you like? Very good grammar. What did you decide? Will you accept the new job? Oh, that's a very good one. Who called you this morning? What buy for dinner? Uh, okay. Okay, who is your favorite actor? Okay, um, so Angelica, very good example. Solo la segunda, creo que vamos a tener que cambiarla because it says que compraste para la cena. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Entonces ya tengo el, el, el sujeto que sería tú. Uh, we need to modify that a little bit. And uh, yeah, vamos a revisar, actually. I got a couple of them. Guys, anybody else uh, have another one that we can uh, use, you know, and, and we can take some examples. Okay, guys. Very good job with these questions. I really like them. Now, Let's go with the second part. Antes de empezar a practicar, guys, let's go with the second part. That is this one. Number one. Um, so, tengo estas preguntas porque no sé quién lo hizo, qué pasó, 
que cayó, uh, que sonó, que it's very general, all right? Now, tengo la siguiente pregunta. That, ya involucran a you, involucran a una persona, right? So I have here, um, I'm going to change it, you. I have here you. Entonces, cuando ya tengo un sujeto, ya no son de este tipo de preguntas. Ya tiene que llevar a estructura. And what is the structure that we have been practicing? WH question, auxiliary, subject, and verb. Porque ya sé quién, de quién estoy hablando. In this case, estoy hablando de usted o de tú, de vos. I don't know how you want to translate it. Acá igual. Entonces, ya no es eso lo que quiero saber, sino, number one, quiero saber qué compró o qué compras o qué vas a comprar para la escena. So, take a look at this one. Imaginémonos qué es pasado, qué compraste para la escena. What, what is missing here, guys? R. No, what did? Mm, very good. So, if this is best, qué compraste, what do you buy for dinner? Um, quiero saber qué vas a comprar para la escena o qué va usted a comprar para la escena. Who will? Yes, Who will. what Who will, will you buy for dinner? If you take a look, hasta sí llevo de estructura completa because yo ya sé que estoy hablando de usted, you know, este es mi sujeto. En este caso, who eats pupusas? Pues yo no sé, I don't know. Who will, it, who will go to Guatemala? I have no idea. What happened? Pues no sé. Pero en este caso, yo sí sé de quién estoy hablando, and this is the you. All right, what are you bring me today? ¿Qué pasó con esta, guys? ¿Qué le debo de quitar? ¿Qué le debo de poner? I need your help. What do you bring? Oh, okay. So, yes, because verb B, um, you know, eso estaría bien. Pero si le pongo verb B, necesito cambiar esto. What are you bringing me today? Or I simply eliminate verb B and I'm going to, oh. what do you bring for me today? What will you bring for me today? And that is okay. That sounds really good. So pretty much guys, solo son cositas de, de, de yeah. Yeah, And for example, when the question that I told you before and the, what does you make, what, oh my God. Makes what you happy. You, uh -huh. Yeah. What is the correct way? That is correct. Because what makes you happy? That is okay. So in this specific scenario, eso está más que perfecto porque esto es el sujeto. Yo no sé de qué es lo que yo estoy hablando, you know. No sé qué lo hace okay. feliz. So that is okay. What makes you happy? Mm -hmm. Or even, si yo le puedo cambiar esto, and I can have what makes you angry, porque no tengo otro verbo. So what makes you angry? Uh, what, may, what makes you feel scared, for example? So that is okay. This question is really good. Mm -hmm. And when, and, and, when can I know, teacher, uh, use, do, or did, or are, whatever, with the we, a WH question? Maybe I'm confusing with that. Okay, so remember that you are you are going to use uh, auxiliaries siempre que quieras saber más información, when you want to know more information. Pero si no sabe quién o qué está pasando, you have no much information, entonces es que utilizamos este primer tipo. So we're gonna use these first type of questions. Um, actually, we have a couple of dead following practices related to that, guys. So I'm going to get started, you know, go straight to these because eh, vamos a tener que utilizar some of these and, uh, you know, con la práctica siempre despejamos dudas and we clarify anything we got to clarify. So guys, uh, give me one moment here. Hold on. Okay, so, um, Belen, I'm going to try to answer your question by the end, después que tengamos la práctica, in case, you know, todavía we still got some, some, some issues, because remember, guys, entre más practiquemos, eso se vuelve más fácil. So, um, we are going to talk, we have been talking a couple of days for the, uh, about focus group. Today, we're going to work a little bit with questions. So, here we have a little paragraph. Uh, and it's about tips to design focus groups, and we have to make some questions. Um, so imagine that we are talking about 
who will go with you to the market? Oh, very nice. Who drank my coffee? Who wrote this book? Who will buy the lunch? Sorry, guys, I'm just going over the chat. Yes, Andrea, very nice. Margarita sounds really good. Would you go to the beach on the weekend? Do me the favor of buying me a soda. Okay. Uh, okay. Sounds all right. So, uh, no necesitamos el jugo día, right? In the previous exercise, because it was part of the of that one. So, um, here, guys, we are going to go over this little reading, and then we're going to go ahead and ask questions. It says here, um, you can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention and get them to provide more honest and complete responses. Angelica, please, can you help me read number one, introductions? Introduction, begin this season with a set of questions that will enable. Enable, enable focus group members to get to know each other better. What is that? E example, EG, for example. Uh -huh. E.g., their favorite hobbies and interests, what they enjoy, focus groups, etc. Et Thank you. Guys, when you see E.g., this means for example, but this is Latin. Uh, I don't remember what it ex exemplary, oh, I forgot it, exemplary something, but this is for example. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. It says, guys, that we can ask about very general things like hobbies, um, like you know, this is like when you call a company and you want to get more information about a product. Tell me, please, help me with number two, fun starter question or activity. Fun starter question or activity. Ask a fun question or do a team building game to get the groups. Creativity, creativity flowing. For example, a stand to team of three words to describe their favorite hobby. Thank you very much. Uh, hey, Rafael, good evening. Great to have you. Um, hello. hello, please help me with number three, Rafael. Okay. Format. Format. When choosing focus group questions, be sure to include a mix of multiple choice questions to provide structure and direction and open-ended question to allow for further explore exploration and discovery. Thank you very much. And uh, let me go with the next one that is, Carlos, please, can you help me with number four, rating a scale? Sorry. No worries. Rating scale, select an appropriate rating scale to measure different levels of approval. Very nice. Thank you so much. Judy, hello. Help us with number five, please. Hi. Okay. A specificity. A spe specificity, a boy, beige, open ended questions that seem sim simply. Like ask. Mm -hmm. Simply. Simply. Okay. Ask why the word? Mm -hmm. Why has a negative meaning? Mm -hmm. It makes the respondent think their first answer was not good. Mm -hmm. Instead, as respondents to provide some specific examples of what they liked or did not like about like about the item in question. Very nice. Thank you so much. And Iris, please help us with number six, closing. Closing, thank the participants for their help and ask, and ask if there anything could be done to improve their expense, ex experience as a member of the focus group. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So here we have like a couple of tips when we want to ask questions, right, to a focus group. 
imagine guys that we want to know uh, about your company, right? We want to know what they think about your company, how they feel about your company, and you are the person designed to do that. And you need to interview, I don't know, five people, 10 people. So here we have some specific uh, tips. For example, you can start with a fun equation for team building. Your questions have to be uh, sometimes open-ended. Open-ended is just no questions. Rating scales, we will see examples. Um, you have to avoid the why. It is not a good idea to ask questions with why. Why do you say that? Why? Why do you think that? In uh, a product opinion, right? And then if you have any other recommendation to improve the experience. So I have here a couple of examples of the questions that we can ask. So in the part of using a rating scale to measure the satisfaction, guys, do you do are you in charge of measuring satisfaction in your company? Can I ask los questionnaires? Who makes the questionnaires or service in your company? We don't have servers. You don't have servers? Guys, alguien se encarga de, de hacer esto? Are you in Human charge resource. of satisfaction? Human resource teacher. Human resources, okay. Yeah, or the final of some capacitation facilitator. Okay. Un facilitador de alguna capacitación, maybe. But, but for example, uh, I don't know, guys. Uh, Belen, you work in a bank, right? Yes, yes. Okay, teacher. guys, ¿quién más trabaja en un banco? Who works in a bank? Only Belen. Me, okay. teacher. Oh, okay, Iris. So, girls, um, when, for example, someone goes to the bank, uh, they finish the process. Is there like, uh, like someone asking the customers like, hey, come here, let me ask you questions. I want to know your opinion. What do in you think case? about the story? Uh-huh. In my case, in the agents uh, and in las agencias, mm -hmm. have a QR code, uh, so you you have to scan, okay. and then you complete the survey in your phone. Oh, okay. Uh, so and and I knew it uh, that in other banks have the survey in paper, but it's something that uh, it's a new polite uh, that no paper. Mm, okay. Not use paper, so they mm -hmm. they try to use the QR, QR codes. Uh, that it's more, maybe more easy. I don't know. It, that's in my in in my case. Mm -hmm. So that's like a policy, right? Uh, okay, very interesting, mm -hmm. guys. Uh, quién tiene contacto directo con customers, or who has to interview customers? So, Mrs. Cuellar, what do you think about this product? Did you like it? Uh, what was your, I don't know, did you interview people? No? Uh, I have a contact with my, the customer. Oh, okay. Because I work in a logistic. Mm -hmm. Mauricio. But, but we don't have a service. Okay, you don't have service. Okay, okay, that's all right. Uh, because some companies, you know, they do ask, for example, here, um, it is not like satisfaction by the end of the, of the module, but if you remember, I an encuesta, right? There is like a sort of survey for a means of work, asking for your general feedback. In my sister's company, for example, ellos can llama. So she calls people asking, okay, uh, what number, how satisfied are you with the product? So if you take a look, here we have a rating scale. Overall, how satisfied are you with the product? What is your impression of the product? How likely are you to purchase the product? Like a lot, a little, mm, I don't really like it. What specific features of the product impressed you? Remember that features is characteristics. So what specific characteristics of the product impressed you? What features of the product disappointed you? Like what characteristics? So guys, we are going to ask these to a couple of people here. So let, give me one moment. Okay. So let's take a look. Uh, this part, no lo vamos a hacer yet because first I want you to uh, do the following. Number one, I want you to select a product. These are just examples of the products that you can uh, pick 
So it says here, select the product and make a conversation about people's opinion. Guys, vamos a medir la satisfacción de customers. So these are just examples again. Uh, we have, imagine that you work for McDonald's or you work for HP or the Maja Blanca, that is the Salvadorian, I think. I don't know where it is from. You have Colgate, you have uh -huh. you have these other uh, products. I think this one is Salvadorian, right? Encanto. I'm not sure, guys. I do not. <laughs> I don't know. But you can pick any product. Uh, it can be your company, for example. Imagine that you are going to start. Um, wait, I remember Carlos said that he visited some customers. Carlos, do you visit customers? Yes, uh, my work is direct with my customers. Oh, okay. Do you supervise or do you sell products? I sell. Oh, what do you sell? Uh, medicine. I very, really, are you a visitador medico? Something like that. Oh. I'm a silence cool. man. The visitador medico is who treat with the, the, the doctor directly. Oh. Oh, okay. They, they and, and, make the doctor a, a work in the receipt okay. to buy the client, okay. the, the customer, a, in the pharmacy, in the root store. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. My work that. is about oh. to make the product exist in the farm, in the drugs. So the you are kind of the supplier. So you have to take the product to the different pharmacies. Oh, okay. And, and what about your company? What is, uh, how do they measure satisfaction? Do you interview them or does your company call the pharmacies and mm. ask, hey, how do you feel about Carlos? How do you feel mm. about the service you're receiving? Or there is no, there is no. Uh, no, they don't do that. They, they don't they, do that. I think they, mm, mm, how how can I they they measure the work, uh -huh, they measure the the satisfaction the satisfaction uh, with the bill probably mediante los resultados uh -huh. okay like uh, probably through the order los resultados order, empiezan right? a bajar ellos entonces evalúan la zona y mandan a algún compañero que por ejemplo en este caso puede ser alguien con más tiempo Ah, okay. Evalúa en la zona a ver qué es lo que está sucediendo, si es oh. problema mío o es problema del visitador que no está. Ok, but It's they don't. Work. They don't normally call, you don't have a supervisor with you. No, 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 I don't have a supervisor. Oh, oh nice. That sounds good. <laughs> that yeah. sounds really good. <laughs> I like <Okay. laughs> Yeah, because you have like all the freedom. <laughs> okay. Uh, but something like good. that. You you have to report to one boss. Oh, okay. Yeah, but but, but still. He's not they over you, us. Mm -hmm. they, they are not like on top of you, like supervising everything. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Not even if my numbers are, are lower. Low, uh-huh. Okay. No, but that's all right. That's all right. They trust your work. Uh, the pressure nice. is by myself mm -hmm. because if I don't sell, I don't win. Uh huh. You don't. If you don't hit the the goal, I believe you don't get the bonus or something. Exactly. Okay. Got it. That's all right, seven. guys. So, what is the company, Carlos? I'm sorry. Droguería Nova. Nova. Uh huh. We okay. are the distributor of the. Uh, um, Sorry. <laughs> este... You forgot it, but your company sells. <laughs> no, uh, the product is uh, Laboratories Generic. Generics okay. Laboratory. We are the distributor of that mark. Okay. But, but, but are the same company. Okay. It's the same company. But you sell what? Like general mm -hmm. medicine? Or is there any product that is super famous in your company? Um, well, uh, laboratories generic uh, is uh, is who make the product. Mm, okay. Yeah. That's novel. Son los fabricantes laboratorios generics. Okay. And they has a uh, visitadores médicos. Okay. And we and and Nova. And you distribute Nova. We are distributors. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Got it. Well, I haven't heard about it, but it sounds really interesting. All we right. Are, we are having 40 years in the Wow, in the, in the, in market. the market. Okay. Yeah. That that's like a long story. Okay, yeah. so imagine guys that you are going to well, Carlos is going to represent his own company, or you can select another one, whatever you want. So pretty much what I want you to do right now, guys is make a set of questions that you can ask in order to ask about this specific product. For example, if I want to know, or if I want to ask some questions about McDonald's, uh, we said before, you cannot use why, but you can use any other kind of question. And here you have the previous examples, like, um, what is your impression? Okay, how likely, like what are the possibilities? How likely are you to purchase the product? What specific characteristics do you like? What do you think about the price of McDonald's, right? For me, it's too expensive and they are too small. <laughs> or you can ask like some specific questions about the product that you choose. Guys, I'm going to give you 10 minutes now. Um, I'm going to ask you to join some groups. Please get in agreement y escojan solo un producto, guys one company or one product, whatever you decide, or si se van a quedar con su propia empresa, that is okay. With your own company? Samsung um, again. That sounds good. Castle. Uh, what was that, Mauricio? I, I didn't get that. I think I heard cancel. Creo que dijo Samsung, teacher. Oh, Samsung. no, guys, no Samsung. <laughs> In the previous class, everybody talked about Samsung. So please change it. <laughs> you can pick up like a lot of companies. You have Don Pollo, you know, Pollo Campero. <laughs> there are a lot of companies you can choose. Uh, Rico Cos Cafe, you know, so yogurts. Um, think about everything that you consume every day. Guys, uh, make 10 questions. Choose one brand, one company, and uh, work on the questions. If you have any doubt, I can definitely check that for you. So let's go to the groups, guys. Let's join them, please. McDonald's, ok entonces eh, y vamos a empezar con preguntas sin utilizar el jugo y por ejemplo eh, give it to us the first question, Félix mm, un segundo ¿Cómo sería este what Cómo preguntarle cómo ha sido tu experiencia, diría algo así. Ah, es sería. Ah, uh, no, tengo ese problema con el pasado. Teacher, I know you're here. <laughs> I have a question. No, teacher is not here. Um, probably how have been your experience in a restaurant? I think is what has, ¿qué sería con, con, ¿cómo fue tu experiencia? How? Tell about uh, no. your experience, algo así. Como que pues, cuéntanos yes. acerca de tu experiencia. How was your experience, uh, your service experience, for example? Tu experiencia de servicio. O oh, how was, was, creo que es el was, no estoy segura si es was. 
how was Sí, creería que sí. Uh, how was your service experience? Pero solo quieres preguntar acerca del servicio o la experiencia o cómo. Sí, era como el servicio, o sea, no sé cómo la pregunta, porque esa te la hacen de la que, cómo te has sentido en el, en el restaurante o algo así. O sea, en general, es ¿eh? una pregunta en general. Entonces, podría ser como... Eh, how, how was your visit to a restaurant, maybe? Tendría que ser where. ¿Por qué? Porque where es para, para tú. Eh, si el where es el plural. Es que el, el you, hay dos you. El you de tú y you de ustedes. Ah, ok. Pues yo me confundí. Gracias. Yo creo que... Espérame, quiero ver si lo encuentro por acá. Miss, can you eh, habilitar? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I always, I don't know why it's not enabled. Um, that's enabled. Yes, it's ready. Okay. Vaya, aquí son las son estos las que íbamos a utilizar como base, como ejemplo, digamos. Uh -huh. Pero el otiburro, ah. Es que ya elegimos magia blanca, entonces acerca de magia blanca vamos a hacer las preguntas. Vaya. Yes. Hi, teacher. Hello, girls. Oh, yeah, well, the girls are here. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, thank we you, Angelica. I saw in the chat uh, the meaning of EG, exempli gratia. I've forgotten <laughs> that word. Thank you. I, I never, I never see that. Uh, I never, I have the opportunity to see that in a, in a, in text. a text. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, yeah, but it's Latin, uh -huh. it's for example. It's like, it, well, in English, we use a, a couple of words that are Latin and French. I don't remember the others. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like we use um, DC, for example, AC, like before Christ, after Christ. Uh -huh. So we use a lot of Latin words. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, girls. Did you select the product already? You yes, can coffee. You can coffee. Okay. Uh, have you selected the brand? No yet. Oh, okay. No. You can share your screen. I believe it is enabled, and you are able to share your screen. So, in case you want to share your questions too. That's what we want to ask you. Uh, they ha we have a uh, confusion what what have to do with that product. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So we will do something very similar to what is in your material. Um, so in your material, give me one moment. Let me see if I can share the, the text. Give me one second. 
So, in your material, in page uh, for your reference, this is page number 24. So, you can open the material in chapter 24. Um, it says here, we are going to design a basic questionnaire to test a new product or to test a product, any product. We are going to imagine that this is going to be for satisfaction purposes. So, it says here, um, you are going to um, using a rating scale to measure the participants' uh, satisfaction. Vamos a crear these preguntas. We are going to make 10 questions very similar to the ones you have in this part. For example, overall, how satisfied are you with the product? Imagínense que ustedes, eh, I don't know, you're talking about café, digamos que vamos a hablar de café listo, café musón, right? Imagine that you are going to talk about café musón y tenemos preguntas, estos son ejemplos, but you can use a couple of them. Like overall, like in general, right? In general, how satisfied are you with the product? What do you think about café musón? Oh, I think that café musón is good, but mm, I don't like the flavor. I don't know. What, what do you think about, I don't know, how likely are you to purchase the product? ¿Qué tan probable es que usted compre café musón? Guys, uh -huh. how likely are you to purchase café musón? <laughs> I don't really like it. I don't no. buy it. Not I likely. Okay, you know, okay, so probably I will never buy it, okay. Now we can use like more specific questions. What are specific features of the product impress you? I like the color, you know? I like the, the color of the Café Musun bags or such as, and that's it. <laughs> I prefer <laughs> Café Rico rather than Café Musun. <laughs> okay, what features of the product disappoint you? So, uh, talking about Café Musun, guys, ¿qué no les gusta? What is something that disappoints uh, or disappointed you about the product? What is soluble? <laughs> I soluble. don't like coffee soluble. What is soluble? Es en polvo, así. Polvo. Oh, like powder. Okay. You don't like it? No, no. I like in... Eh, no sé cómo se dice, para cafetera. Oh, the ones that you para boil. Como yeah. los beans, pero no los, no los granos, right? Molido, ajá. ¿eh? El, el de grano, pero molido. Okay. Para, ya para cafetera o... O ajá, cocer en, en, en olla. Ah, okay. So that is a coffee. The the coffee in 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 polvo no es café. Oh, okay. Wait. So that is called. No, pero no es roasted tampoco. It's not roasted. So it's uh, okay. So if you're talking about a uh, café like molido, el powder, so you can call it that way. So you can say powder or you can call it grounded. So grounded, mm -hmm, grounded is como el molido, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So grounded coffee. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed. You prefer to, to, to have the coffee, the coffee maker and to yes. put some coffee into that? Yes, I have my own cafeteria. How much? Yeah, cafeteria. Ca coffee maker. A coffee, coffee maker. maker with my, in, in, my, in my desk. <laughs> How much coffee do you drink per day? Uh, per day, I three or four cups. Oh, okay. But the coffee maker is only for you? Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Because because I normally I normally drink just a cup of coffee in the morning. Uh and that's it. I don't drink more coffee. So a uh -huh, coffee maker wouldn't do much for me. Oh, that's very interesting. <laughs> so you're coffee lovers. Okay. Yes. 
Uh -huh. so, so pretty much we are going to make questions about that, you know? So uh, choose the brand, escojan qué tipo de café you want to talk about, and then you can make, make questions. ¿Qué les gustaría preguntar de este café, you know? Si ustedes fueran de la empresa. If you belong to this company, what kind of questions would you ask to the rest of the people? So, okay. yeah. I don't know if that is okay. okay. That is clear. A that little. is clear. Okay, perfect. Let's work on the doors. Coffee. Que si podría ir, verdad? Okay. Yo tengo esta. Ay. Creo que esa es. Está bien. Were the restrooms clean? Sí. Was the restaurant pet, pet friendly? Bye. Entonces tenemos. How was your experience today? How was the Tem temperature of your food. What can you recommend it for our service or personal? How long do you wait for food? And were the rest were the restrooms clean? And was the restaurant pet friendly? Alguna otra pregunta? Judy, serio, Judy. O está de oyente. Estoy teniendo problemas con el Inter. Ahorita estoy haciendo esto, intentando ubicarme un poco. Ah, ok. Estamos, bueno, elegimos la marca de McDonald's. Entonces estamos haciendo preguntas acerca de McDonald's. O sea, por ejemplo, Félix ah, ya okay. hizo sus dos preguntas. Eh, él nos pregunta eh, que, acerca de la experiencia. Eh, luego Gaby nos pregunta acerca de la temperatura de la comida. Yo pregunto si hay alguna recomendación para el personal o por el servicio. Eh, Félix pregunta acerca de cuánto esperó por la comida. Gaby pregunta por los baños, si estaban limpios. Y yo pregunto si el restaurante es pet friendly, si es, eh, es eh, aceptan mascotas, básicamente. Oh, Entonces, sí. eh, danos dos preguntas que tú harías al ir al restaurante de McDonald's como si esto fuera una encuesta de, de servicio, ¿verdad? Ok, ahorita veo. Ya se las doy. Ahí escribirás en el chat y les tomamos foto por si se nos olvida. Yeah. De acuerdo. Pues si se les pierde. Sí. Ay, no sí, porque me está... Ah, que me quedo escribiendo. Ahí se me queda. Se me queda. Oh, yeah. Sí, That's right. teníamos una pregunta. Yeah. You wasn't here before. Ok. Um, in the first one that Felix wrote, how was your experience today? Eh, teníamos la duda, is was or were? Because I, I, I knew that you're, you uh, are two of them. You like you in the singular and you like ustedes. Mm -hmm. So, I, eh, teníamos como esa duda, esa inquietud. O sea, ¿es was o es were? No, but if, if your question is, how was your experience? So, that is okay. How was? Okay. Because experience is singular. Ah. Um, if you say, how were your experiences? So, that would be okay because you have plural. But in this case, your doesn't matter. Is the word experience what matters? So how was your experience? The action is in singular, so. Mm, yeah, the thing is that you have experience, only one. So how was your experience? <laughs> yeah, because the main subject would be experience, not yeah. you. Not no. You. Got it. No, because that okay. would be your. Uh -huh. So how was your, not you, but your experience? Like how was, how is your family, for example? So how is your family? How was your family? Mm -hmm. so was. Okay. The other question, teacher, it's, uh, uh, it's about, esto es algo personal. And mm -hmm. how long you waiting for your food? 
Entonces, teníamos, de primero, eh, en primera instancia, yo mencionaba how many, how many time. Entonces, uh -huh. las, eh, eh, ¿es una forma correcta o how long es mejor? O sea, ¿es, es lo mismo o cómo sería ahí? Oh, there are a couple of possibilities, but how many times, maybe not, because that okay. refers to times. Cuando se usa how many, se refiere a veces. How many okay. times, cuántas veces. So you can ask how much time, how much time do you mm -hmm. wait for food? If you want to be super specific, like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or how long? I would say how long is more common. Okay. Uh, so how long did you wait for your food or how much time did you wait for your food? Both are okay. Okay, and in the sentences, how long are you waiting? Mm -hmm. This is a question. And if you want to be super formal, uh, you need to include all the elements. How long did you wait or how long were you waiting for the food? Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Sí, están bien, están bien. I think that Judy is having some problems with the internet, but hopefully she's back in a couple of minutes. Guys, ya casi terminan. Are you almost done? Eh, yes, teacher. Okay. Eh, o sea, como vi que Judy se agregó, esperábamos las dos preguntas de ella para terminar, básicamente. I think that you no. can, yeah, you can work on them because eh, I think that she is having some issues. But you can work on it. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Hold on. Y se pregunta cuánto gasta en, 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 al mes, digamos, algo informativo. Bueno, yo siento que con cinco, puedo cuatro, ¿sí? ¿Cuánto, cada cuánto consume ese producto? Uh -huh. Pero eso sería encima de, de la que ya tenemos. Uh -huh. En el número cuatro. Ajá, encima de la número 4 sería la número 4 y pasaría a ser el número 5. Entonces sería. ¿Recomendarías el producto? Ah, pues esa sí sería la número, la última. Ajá. Esa sí es una pregunta de cierre. You would recommend our product. Algo así. Sí. ¿O por qué recomendarías el producto? No, no, pues eso ya es muy abierta. Entonces, ¿recomendarías el producto? Ajá. ¿Tú recomendarías el producto? Sí, por el inglés. Dígale, teacher. <risa> you recommend or the product? They did super nice, but I don't know, guys. Estaba esperando que los demás le dijeran hell in English. <laughs> No, that's good. That's a good one. <laughs> well, this is a just no question. So that would be like, do you? Do you recommend our product? Mm -hmm. Or would you? Do you, right? Like, lo recomiendas or would you? Lo recomendarías. Would you recommend this product with your friends? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. No recuerdo en qué lugar preguntan eso. I don't remember. There is a place that asks you that, right? Would you recommend this with your friends? I don't remember. So not weird. <laughs> but I have heard it. I have heard it. Uh, donde me lo preguntaron? Okay, no, wait, I remember. Um, a long time ago, like 10 years ago, probably, in my primer empleo, in my first job, um, I quit, you know, so renuncié because I had another opportunity. And then, uh, parte de, del, del momento ya de despido, and every, well, no de despido, no de renuncia, and paperwork and everything, me hicieron una encuesta. So they interviewed me in order to value como mi valoración de la empresa, you know, and they asked me that. They asked me like, would you recommend this company with your friends or with other people? So I was like... Okay. Not, not. I was like, <laughs> yeah, but, but, <laughs> but it was really interesting because ha sido la única vez that has been the, the only time una empresa me preguntó, you know, like, what was my opinion about that specific company? 
So, and then uh -huh, I was like, okay, well. But yeah, you can use like, do you or would you? So that sounds good. You say, I prefer to answer that. Um, I don't remember what I said. That was a long time ago, guys. I was like 20 something years old. So, no recuerdo. I don't, re I don't really remember what I said. I think I said yes or no. I don't know. <laughs> okay, but you can ask that. Like, do you recommend or would you recommend? So it sounds a little more general. Okay, yo creo que tenemos las, las preguntas. Okay, perfect. Actually, it is about time. Okay, okay, amazing. How many questions do you have? Ten. Uh, five. Only five. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, really? Can I listen to your questions? Uh, let me think. How do you try or pro? Oh, okay. What is your opinion about our product? Okay. What do you think about our prices? Okay. If you could change something about our product, what would change? Okay. In the, le in the last one that you, as you listen. Okay. Oh, all right. I, I think they, they sound quite good. By the way, what is your product? Maja Blanca. Oh, that's Maja Blanca. Oh, okay. Some of the population. Okay. No, no, no. But that sounds right to me. You know, solamente yo le agregaría. Have you ever had an allergic reaction when using Maja Blanca? So, because I have had allergic reactions. So, Maja Blanca is super strong, you know. So, when yeah. I, I can use different kind of bleaches. But when I use Magia Blanca, my hands, um, it's not rip. My skin, so my skin dies. Uh -huh. So because it is too strong. So um, yeah, <laughs> I would include that. Have you ever had like any side effect? Have you ever had an allergic reaction uh, when using the product or something like that? But that sounds good. I like your patients. Yes, yes. Sound quite like good. It. Okay, guys, give me just a moment. We are going back. Ruben, hey, Ruben. Did you have the chance to practice too? Ruben, oh, yeah. Ruben, casi no lo escucho. <laughs> How are you doing, Ruben? Really? Ruben, que barbaridad, you know. So, siempre que yo entro, he's Ruben super quiet. <laughs> Está trabajando, Ruben. Are you working? Es que te, se me ha complicado su sentido porque eh, en este módulo también eh, estoy llevando otro curso que programaron, entonces se me chocan. Entonces, no, Ruben, qué barbaridad. Complica. Oh. Entonces, por eso lo pongo como oyente para. para pero hágame un enorme favor, Rubén. Eh, no, no, ¿Sí? le ponga, no le ponga oyente cuando ingrese. Solamente eh, elimine esa parte. Porque oyentes son los que no están inscritos en el curso. Entonces, ah, okay. uh -huh, sí, por eso. Para evitar cualquier confusión, yo no solamente quitémosle. Porque usted sí está legalmente inscrito con todas y todas en el curso. Sí, sí. No, ya he estado ahí en la, ahí en el labor. Oh. Que me hayan inscrito en un curso. Entonces. ¿Cuándo termina su curso? Dice que uh, termina a mediados de agosto. Oh, gosh. Entonces, okay. por ende, no podría llevar el otro módulo. Oh, ok. Well, but, you know, siempre que tenga la oportunidad de, de escuchar, de participar, so aprovechalo, you know. So take advantage because también lo queremos escuchar. We want to listen to you as well. And thank you. Yo lo veo acá conectado, you know, so le agradezco enormemente for it, uh, por el compromiso that you have, right? So thank you so much for that. Yeah, but I'm like, Ruben, nunca lo he escuchado hablar más de un minuto. <laughs> I really want to listen to you for more than a minute. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, now that I remember, I haven't heard. Creo que solo lo escucho like present. <laughs> no, Ruben, no, I'm going to es, ask you more es, questions. Es que hay, que hay que sumar todos los jueces. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
<laughs> no, that's so tricky. <laughs> no, but I'm glad. I mean, Leira, es que normalmente that you work with us. And, uh, and yes, you know, you know, tiempo escaparse del otro curso and come and practice with us. That is amazing. Okay, guys, uh, let's go back to the session. So thanks a lot. Give me just a moment. And... Alrighty, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for coming back. So just to give you some uh, general thinking here, vamos a guardar las preguntas que hicimos ahora para continuar el día de mañana with the same questions. For tomorrow, guys, tenemos, vamos a trabajar un poquito in the, this focus group con las mismas preguntas, all right? So please, uh, no se les olvide, uh, have them ready for tomorrow. Uh, five questions, ten questions, as many as we can, that would be nice. Y vamos a intentar aplicar part of the um, recommendations that we had in the text we read. Guys, solamente antes de irnos, me ayudan, please, con la confirmación verbal that you're here. So I got a, a moment. Today is the fourth. Present. And <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Andrea, <laughs> regale mi confirmación verbal, please. <laughs> I'm here. Thank you, Ellen. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you, Delmi. Present. Thank you. Ricardo dijo antes que se le olvide que estoy acá. Present <laughs> teacher. Hasta que me duerma. No, ya no vamos no. a permitir. Ya no vamos a permitirme. Francisco, no, Francisco creo que no pudo. Uh, Helen. Here, teachers. Thank you. Imelda. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Iris. Present. Thank you. No, Ricardo, no worries. No le toca one on one today. De hecho, me debe no todavía worries. la tarea del one on one. <laughs> Arnaldo. <laughs> Guys, me deben tareas en bien, me les. Thank you. No se les olvide el audio, guys. One minute for Oye. today. Oye, la minute. Uh, ok, Ricardo de Gacha, eh, Kenia creo que tenía que trabajar, eh, girl. Angelica, present, thank you, Gaby, Gaby, present. Gaby, thank you so much, eh, Rafael, present, thank you, Rafael, uh, Rubén, present, teacher. thank you, <laughs> <laughs> ya lo molesté, Rubén, <laughs> one more, <laughs> No, pues sí, tenemos que llegar al minuto. Uh, Margarita. Present. Thank you, Margarita. Judy. Here, teacher. Thank you so much. Hey, Mauricio. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Ok, guys. El día de mañana terminamos la unidad número dos. Please, guys, si todavía tienen pendiente la plataforma Activity 2, no se les olvide completarla. Don't forget to... Uh, complete the one. And the, yes, Sorry. Belen, tell me. No, no worries, tell me. No es porque esto lo necesite, solo que ahora me cayó como un mensaje raro y por eso quiere saberlo, ¿verdad? Dígame. Pero, ¿cuándo es que termine este módulo, dicho? Porque ya se está aperturando el otro. No, mis recuerdes. No, ya, yeah, exacto. Recuérdense, guys, que eh, las inscripciones inician como a mediados, you know. So, este módulo está planificado para que se termine el 18 de julio, pero eh, no, okay. por lo general las inscripciones se realizan antes, de tal manera que cuando el módulo este termine, inmediatamente la documentación se mande, you know, y ya estén listos. Y para que ustedes no se retrasen, para evitar que estén un mes, dos meses, tres meses en espera. Uh -huh. So that's why. Si ya les cayó la información y ya pueden completar los documentos, háganlo, guys. Do it. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, teacher. No, es que ya les están diciendo, ya se va a terminar. <laughs> okay, guys, have an amazing night. I will be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good one. And give me tomorrow. just... Uh, bye bye. So Arnoldo, no sé si puede regalarme un par de minutitos. Los demás guys estamos dismissed. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Enjoy Good your night. Todo y a todas. Bye bye. See ya. Ahora, ahora sí, Ricardo. Vaya a descansar. <laughs> bye bye. Hi Arnoldo, how are you doing? Hi teacher. Bye. Hello, thank you so much. I'm just going to steal a couple of minutes of your time for the one-on-one -on -one session. Um, well, I think I have had like little opportunities to listen to you, but what I have heard actually is pretty good. You mentioned that you're working at night, right? Yes, yes, but sometimes. No, oh, okay. Because I work by shift. Oh, okay. So these days or this week, are you working the night shift? Um, no, it's complicated. Oh. I work, uh, así como ahora, lunes en la noche. Okay. Salgo mañana martes. So you're working right now? Yes. Oh, okay, gotcha. La, la diferencia de que estaba, le estaba enseñando a un compañero que está entrando nuevo. Okay. Pero ahora no vino. Entonces hoy sí puedo hablar. Oh, that's why. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I heard you and I was like, wait, that is Arnaldo's voice. <laughs> okay, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so what do you do, Arnaldo? Um, uh, what is your job? Um, operador data center. Data center. Uh, yes. And that means, do you work with databases? Yes. Oh. With network uh, enlaces. Oh, something like Cisco. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Um, oh, all right. I do a lot of things. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice, nice. Well, la, I haven't had, unfortunately, the opportunity to listen to you for a long period of time uh, to have an like to get an idea of what we need to work mm. on. But what I have heard, actually, you communicate quite well. Where do you practice English or where did you learn? Because I, I think that you practiced before uh, coming to this program, right? Uh, yes, but, but I, I like read. Oh, OK. And by the work, I need to read a lot in English. Oh, OK, like, like manuals, uh, catalogs, and things like those. Yes. What um, a um, uh -huh. yeah. What about speaking? I, I don't. Casi no, casi no. Me da mucho hablar. <laughs> but, but you don't have you don't have the opportunity to speak to somebody. No. Oh, okay. So, eso, le entiendo casi todo lo que dice. Okay. Pero casi no me puedo expresar. Porque yeah, okay. sí veo muchos videos, leo mucho, pero uh -huh. pero como no tengo mucho con quién hablar. Gotcha. Yeah, because last time I heard that your vocabulary was pretty extensive. So you have a lot of vocabulary. I don't remember what we were talking about, but I was like, hey, the Armando communicates quite well. Uh -huh, but OK, now that you tell me that, so it means that we need to practice a little more. Um, OK, so so tell me, tell me a little bit about, I don't know, tell me about you. <laughs> I haven't had the opportunity to listen to too much, you know, about yourself. Yes, uh, I have 25 years. Oh, you're 25? Uh, 35. Oh, 35, okay. Yep. <laughs> I, I have two tattoos. Okay. Uh, I have a daughter. All right. Uh, I work at Ares Science. 2013. Oh, you've been working there for a quite a long time. Okay. Yes. Um, I like real um play. Oh. Video game. Oh, okay. Um, I like see videos in in YouTube. <laughs> okay, but videos like tutorials or like music videos or random videos or what kind of videos do you normally watch? Yes, tutorial. 
uh, tutorials related to your job or English tutorials or what kind of tutorials? Um, about tech. Technology. Technology. Oh, tech. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. So you are in the networking area, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Sounds all right. Do you watch them in English? Excuse me? Do you normally watch those videos in English or do you watch them in Spanish? Um, but okay, okay. But the la mayor parte Most? de la información es que está en uh -huh. mm -hmm. Most of the information you find it in English or the yes. like the most like the most recent right information it comes in English. Okay. Yes, the most recent information. And because of your job, as you said, so English is uh, super important. Okay. Okay, Arnaldo. So you know what we are going to do is the following. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente, because now that you tell me, uh, so so listening is muy bueno, you know, because uh pretty much les estoy hablando. Uh, bastante rápido, I would say. <laughs> Le estoy hablando mi velocidad normal and you get me uh, vocabulary, you got it. But as you mentioned, algunas palabras um, como no las practicamos that often, uh, so de repente no sabemos cómo expresarlo, right? So para empezar a trabajar un poquito that part, eh, necesito que me ayuden viendo eh, audios, all right? Eh, tenemos una tarea para el día de ahora que era escoger un producto de los que más usamos, cualquiera, anything, and por un minuto, sin detenerse, talk about the product. So, puede ser, I don't know, imagínese que um, I'm going to talk about my computer, acá tengo la caja, this is HP, you know, and I'm going to talk about the characteristics. Um, so, this is a, like a Chromebook, but to be honest, I don't really like this brand because I think that it's a boring brand, I don't know. Y usted comienza a hablar, you start talking. So, si no le gusta cómo le quedó, you know, so you record it again and record it again until you feel so satisfied. So, uh, no le voy a, well, si está trabajando ahorita y tiene tiempo libre, send it. <laughs> Para que ya no le quede pendiente for tomorrow. But la idea es que no se detenga, you know. Un minuto, cuéntalo, tomas el tiempo, pero sin detenerse, sin quedarse like, ah, uh, porque necesitamos un poquito de fluidez y le vamos a lograr la fluidez entre usted más lo repita. You know, the more you practice, the more you repeat it, las palabras le van a venir más fácil. Um, pronunciation is going to improve, vocabulary lo va a tener más a la mano. So, intentemos trabajarlo this way, all right? Uh, send, me the, send me the homework, yo la reviso and, and I'll give you some feedback, si hay alguno, you know, or the, y usted me dice cómo le funcionó, si considera que que sí le funcionó for speaking practices and uh, podemos ir, seguir that way, you know. Eh, mientras usted siga trabajando o no pueda participar during classes, we can try to do that y compensar un poquito la parte de speaking. Is that okay for you? Okay, okay. okay. Uh, your personal number? Yes, please send it in WhatsApp because es más fácil, es más rápido, más práctico. Send it over and uh, if you can send it today, that is okay. Or you can send it tomorrow whenever you have like some time uh, off. So that would be all right. Mm -hmm. So I can I can listen to you as well, uh, like bajo presión, right? Because it's going to be one minute. Okay. So <laughs> thank you so much, Arnaldo, for your time. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Don't forget to send me the homework, please. Okay, see you. All right, bye-bye. See ya. Bye.